Well, I really hope that this video is finding you all safe and well. Um, well, what can we say about the last month? It's uh, certainly not one that we thought we'd ever um, experience, but these um, cards are deltas to deal to deal with, and we've just got to get on with it, be safe, nice and sensible, and, and just try and keep busy. I obviously haven't been on the bank this month, but I've been incredibly busy. I've got um, some very exciting projects coming up over the next month or so that I can obviously give you a little bit of a hint about um, and you know it's just thinking about the future just trying to keep busy and, and I've very much been building for the future this month um, I'm currently furloughed at work and I don't even know if I'm gonna have a job to go back to in a month or two months time um, just because no one really knows what's happening that's really helped me focus on my own projects on my own businesses obviously I still want to be out there fishing and filming and that sort of thing but a massive part of my life now is um, is my video projects um, and the coaching side of things and I've been doing a lot more online stuff this month what I have been doing I've been looking at ways of making my videos um, more technical um, to give me a larger um, spectrum of, of techniques and software that I can use I've been looking at different platforms and I can tell you all about that in a little while but um, I've also got some news about what I've got coming up later on in the year and I've also obviously like most other people I've been doing plenty of prep as well but I've been trying to pace myself with that and I can tell you about that towards the end of the video but um, initially it was just kind of everybody's had um, certain situations to deal with at the moment and you know one of the things for me was to just try and get into some sort of a routine um, I'm very much a, a routine person in normal day life obviously getting up for work gonna work and all that sort of thing um, and my weekends are the same when I'm not fishing when I haven't got competitions and that's what I really been trying to do get into a routine and you know it's, it's been going alright it's been going alright it's been very evident that lots of people are sat at home a bit bored now and they've had time to think about things they've had time to look look at certain things and um, just by the number of messages um, f through whichever channel has just vastly increased while people have been off work and stuff you know and and that's obviously been a big part of what what you know what I do for Matrix and and just as part of being a, 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 a a sponsored angler and a consultant you know so very much the routine has just been kind of been first thing in the morning just a bit of a a chill out really a nice cup of coffee and then really just going through the messages um, lots and lots of Facebook messenger messengers and I think I've replied to everybody's if I haven't to the date when this video gets uploaded then please get in touch but Facebook messenger isn't great for me to be honest because it's easy to lose messages and lose track especially when you've got two or three different platforms as well like two different Facebook pages there's the Twitter page as well um, I'm also now more far more active on Instagram um, and and they're all channels that people can send you messages and you want to help people out the best you can and so the morning time has really just been about that just having a coffee um, sometimes a bit of breakfast depends if I fancy it and then just really catching up on messages and then once I've done those on what I can do on the phone nice and easy I then switch over to the laptop and just go through some emails you know when you're involved on lots of different platforms and stuff you're always getting notifications of stuff and and that's really the time when I try and just go through all the emails and just try and start the day nice and fresh well, once I've caught up on all those sorts of things for me I like to try and have some sort of a, a plan for the day so there, there's always stuff I can be doing because you know whatever stage I'm at with whatever project I always want to push it further and, and increase it even more so there's always going to be things that I can be doing so I like to just kind of jot down roughly what I'd like to get done that day and I've been really surprised how productive um, it's been now the other thing that I've been doing as well is getting my own website up to scratch and up to speed so that's the catchfishingchannel.co.uk website now I've been toying with this quite a while I just haven't had any time to spend on it to get it up to scratch get it up to date and that's exactly what I've had chance to do this month now people have asked me about websites before and I'm sure everybody out there has used different ones if you're designing your own now I've only ever really used two one that I tried was GoDaddy now I actually tried that twice and that's one where for a small fee you can register register your domain and you actually have the web space there to design to how you want to design it import all your own pictures and that sort of thing 
However, after two attempts, go daddy, this is two different separate occasions, I just couldn't get on with it. It was much more difficult to use um, and both times I ended up reverting back to what used to be one-on-one -on -one website design. I own us, they, these are the ones that I've come back to again. And as you can see, you know, I don't know what that looks like to you, but that was a really nice simple layout. Um, as you go get your cursor and put it on each individual element, as you can see, it's covered or it's got a blue, um, a blue square or a rectangle around it. So it actually selects that own area. So if you want to change that, for example, so we're here where it says welcome to, all I need to do is click on it and straight away that opens up a menu there where I can change the font, the size, I can type in or you know different things like that and, and you just edit each element on its own like that. It's so easy to use if you want to import pictures you just click on it and it, and it says you know do you want to import another picture you can do that directly from uh, off the web or whatever or wherever you want to import it from but straight off your computer if you wish it's just so easy to use okay and that's where I've been updating my monthly vlog uh, and blog and that sort of thing um, and I've got links to the different channels that I run anyway within that so again that's another bit that I've been working on but one on one has definitely been the best website provider that I've used personally but it's just so easy really nice and quick and when you made all your changes here all you need to do is like that little change I've just done there I could just go up to there to republish and within 10 seconds or less than 10 seconds that will update it live on your actual website so what else have I been up to? I've been prepping my kit. I've been looking at the gear that I've got. I've been prepping for competitions that we've got coming up, whenever that might be. I've been sorting my reels out, spools, leaders, um, hook lens, some of the luggage that I've got as well, and feeders. So, to give you uh, a bit of a taste of well, what I've been up to, so I can show you the bits of kit that I've been preparing, I better ditch the office, and I'll see you over in the tackle room. Ugh. The tackle room. I've been spending quite a bit of time in here as well. Even when I haven't been prepping, I've been spending and doing a little bit of work in here as well. I think this month has probably gone down in history as the live stream month. Um, for those of you that are on social media, I know a lot of you are obviously watching this on YouTube. I know some of you aren't on Facebook and particularly Facebook. Um, everybody seems to have been going live and doing live streams and that sort of thing, which I, which I think is great. You know, it's, um, it, it's brilliant. Um, I'd only done it once or twice before, um, but at the beginning of April I did five live streams in five nights um, on my catch fishing channel. Uh, they're still there if anybody wants to watch those. And I think each one was about between half an hour and an hour long, I think. And it was just a bit of a, a chat really, an isolation chat. I really enjoyed doing them. Um, but the downside to those was you were getting that many people logging on that there were people asking questions and just wanted to um, your opinion on something or want you to talk about something and you know when there was three three and a half hundred people on each one inevitably some people were a little bit disappointed so if you're one of those people I'm sorry about that I did do my best to reply to you since then um, and and they weren't advertised um, live streams either I just sprung them on. Um, at the, you know, so only subscribers would get a, a notification that, the, that there was a live video going ahead. Um, so that was the downside to doing that. Um, what I have noticed is that, as you can expect, over the coming weeks and coming months, uh, and certainly over the, over the past weeks, I've had to cancel and postpone several coaching sessions, which, you know, I, I don't mind doing. You know, it's not the end of the world for me, but I know for a lot of people, you know, they're probably only ever going to have one coaching session and they really looked forward to them. And obviously, you know, the chance of them happening again this year is probably quite slim at the moment because we don't know what the situation is going to be. So, one of the things that I did was, as part of my coaching um, services, if you want to call it that, through the catchfishingchannel.co.uk website, was a one to one live stream coaching stream. And I was amazed, you know, how many people really wanted to get involved in that. So where, you know, people might charge an amount for a full day on the bank, coaching with whoever it might be, um, obviously myself, um, I, I've had to cancel quite a few of those days, but the lads still wanted to have a chat because there was still, there were still things they wanted to go over as regards their own fishing or their own tattle and, and just speak on a one-to-one -one live stream basis. So that is a service that I built into my 
website so if anyone's interested in that you know please go and have a look at that but that felt a really nice personal service that we could do while we're still in lockdown as it were so that opened my eyes to that and there was one or two lads that got involved in that that i'm probably never ever going to meet you know i think one of them lives in belgium there's another lad somewhere else in europe so the logistics and reality of them having a day's coaching is just really obviously it's not going to happen because they live too far away so um, that was a nice little um, thing that came out of live streaming but I've done one or two other live streams on my coaching channel Patreon TV a couple of those with Dean Barlow so if you're watching Dean thanks for getting involved in that and volunteering to help out and we had a bit of a Q&A with Dean and because they're on that membership channel it's a little bit more intimate you know you're only looking at probably 30 people at a time on that so every question's getting answered so thanks again Dean um, but yeah we're learning all the time from these situations aren't we we're learning to evolve and it's opening up different avenues and I'm sure all these a lot of these skills and things that we're using now on platforms and different things will continue to use in the future so because they're one-to-one -one coaching style videos I do all those from here because as you can imagine I've got all my bits of fishing tackle and bits and bats here to hand so when we are talking one-to-one -one, I can just quickly grab whatever it might be I'm trying to talk about and it's just go through rigs and that sort of thing live from here in the tackle room so I've been spending time here doing that um, I've also been going through some of the luggage and things um, spools I've been going through but I mean spooling up uh, this is my drawer here with just spools um, spooling up and that sort of thing I know most people know how to spool up your spools but I've just been putting some fresh braid on some of them and some fresh mono just some random stuff I don't I'm not one for prepping gear um, general general prepping I can't do it I just cannot find the motivation to do it you know I will prep as much as anybody when I know I'm prepping for a specific you know a specific event or a certain venue because you know it's specific then you know you know what lines you need what braid you need what hook length you need but when it's just random topping this up topping that up I can't really you know do too much of that it's not for me but I've done some of the more common hook lengths that we use a lot of the venues obviously that I fish are natural venues and we tend to be using the same diameter lines 80% of the time anyway so I have done some of those that I know we use a lot of size 16 hooks 14s and some 12s as well but they're all lombard patterns uh, 50 centimeters and one meter lots of people ask me about that but I only carry those two now one with 50 centimeter one with a meter um, obviously if you need a 75 meter, uh, 75 centimeter one you can just cut them up one meter one down but and there are one or two others only a couple of patterns where I've got them tied up um, for one and a half meters but that's when you're fishing for fish up in the water which is a little bit more specialized um, I've been going through my my luggage I'm not one for hoarding gear so when I get new gear or I need something replacing or I'm going to use something in replacement of something else I don't hold on to that something else you know I, I, all my gear I really look after it I know it sometimes gets a bit dirty but I do look after it it's all in brilliant working order and um, I obviously sometimes pass it on to dad but in this case I've passed quite a few things on they're going on to a, um, a junior club so they'll just get passed on to them so I don't you know this, it goes through me having perfectly working good gear just sat here gathering dust when I know I'm not going to use it uh, and that helps me keep everything a little bit tidier in here as well so um, I've been going through the luggage um, I mean some of the things I mean one of the things I got asked about was which is a very interesting topic is that we are expecting at some stage where if all these different competitions are going to be ran at some stage who knows when uh, there might be a bit of a backlog you know there might be a bit there's going to be some clashes and things like that it depends what match organizers do between themselves and I think it's inevitable that we might be fishing Saturdays Sundays um, depending on what events you're interested in somebody asked me last week about what kind of luggage I use when I go away on these weekends because usually you're staying out in digs might be a hotel or whatever and when you leave on a Saturday morning or a Friday night for a weekend away you've obviously got to take your bait with you pellets and fishery pellets and all that business is okay but when you're talking about fresh natural baits like maggot pinkies casters worms then you need a way of storing them I use this now I know some of you have seen this I used it mainly last summer uh, when I was away on the Trent Patsall Park when I was on the feeder masters road uh, qualification road because this kind of 
uh, you know, it's an insulated, it doesn't make things cool, but when they are cool, it keeps them cool. Okay, so as you can see, it's insulated. It's a nice size, it's not too big, because what you tend to find is that in summer, yeah, you, you might have a kilo of worms in here if you're away for two days, so that's a nice size for a kilo of worms. A couple of pints of casters, a couple of pints of maggots, maybe a mixed bait in there like pinkies or whatever and in summer I like to carry you know one or two cold drinks as well you know for the bank side when it's warm and they can all go in here as well and just a couple of cool packs in there it's just really nice and compact and it goes into if you've got a four wheel barrow like the matrix one like I've got um, that I know a lot of you have got it's got the the pouch where the handles are it's got the big pouch I don't know the official term for it but this fits into that perfectly out of the way so when it's on your barrow you don't even notice and if you use the um, the EVA bait, bait tray, like that one. This is the four compartment one, which I use a lot. Um, obviously there's four tubs in there. You can have different combinations in there, but it's a zip up, so it's great for the weather. But if you do use that, like I like using it, if you want to use it in conjunction with this, then guess what? It's designed to clip together. So it just makes loading your van up and unloading your van up much easier. You might even want to take this into your digs, you know, if you've got a fridge in there or you want to, you know, if it's going to be hot or in your van or it's, you don't think the temperature's right or whatever, then you can just pick this up and everything's going to go in the hotel room with you or your digs or depending on where you're staying and you can just unclip it nice and easy. Okay, so that I know is going to answer some people's questions about that, but it's a brilliant bit of kit and it's, it's great when you're going away for two or three days at a time. And in summer, if you are fishing venues where you're using loads of bait, um, I, I don't always do because of the venues that I fish tend to be a little bit harder but I know a lot of the lads fishing commercials and that sort of thing it's great if you get having to carry a lot of bait um, and if you mix your ground bait the night before it's going to help keep it fresher and that sort of thing because I know some lads use a lot of bait on certain venues okay so that's what I use on that the four compartment one is the one you, a lot of you have seen me use and what I didn't realise when I first started using it is that the reason why I love it, well one of the reasons why I love this so much is because if I get the bait bag that I carry, now this is great if you're only carrying a small amount of bait, because obviously that'll go in the bottom of there, this is insulated as well, I carry a couple of the, they're brilliant bowls, they've been so durable, it's unbelievable, they're the 5 litre ones, that one's brand new as you can see, still got the sticker on, but I carry two of those, they go inside each other, and that just obviously because it compacts, everything goes in there and there's still enough space in there for other bait as well if you're not carrying too much kit. But the brilliant thing about that is, guess what? Look at that. How good is that for transporting kit? It's a massive bugbear of mine. Stay night, everything nice and compact. It just makes everything so much easier. I'm not saying I'm lazy, it's just if you can have three trips to your van with all your tackling instead of six, then it's got to be better, hasn't it? Come on, let's face it. And the great, the other great thing about this is if you use your box like I do, because I'm mainly feeder fishing, I don't use the big deep cassette that goes on top of the foot plate underneath the frame of the box. I don't use that because I don't need it. Guess what? That slides in there perfectly underneath that, so it makes it even more compact if you're loading your barrow up. However, the last match that I fished was the first round of the Southfield Spring League, which sadly didn't go any further than that first match. Well, what I tend to do is if I'm going to be specialising on a venue like that, just like I did with Holcroft in the Holcroft Feeder Masters Winter Pairs six match series, if I know I'm focusing on a venue like that for six weeks in, a, in one go, then I like to use the Excel version. Simple as that. And as you can imagine, in there, there's loads of space in there to keep everything in there. And what I like to do is, like with the Southfield one and with the um, the Allcroft League, is that I will literally set this up before the first match for the full six matches. Okay, so what I will do is, if it's a venue like Allcroft, at Allcroft we tend to be using the same sorts of feeders, no matter where you draw. Same at Southfield. So all I will do is, I will literally kit this up, ready for that six match series. Okay, so one of these compartments here will have a selection of hand-picked feeders from here that I know I'm only going to use on the venue because we know the venue. You might have your worm scissors in there as well and any other little bits that might be specific to that league because that means that you know that when you get back after that first match, you haven't got to touch that again for the next five matches. It's all there for you and if you can afford to put rods to one side as well, so if you've got rods specific for that venue that you're not going to be using anywhere else within that six weekend period because let's face it most of us 
most people only really fish one match a weekend don't they so you can set the rods up so you know that those rods are all set for that series and it's just one way of keeping everything really nice and simple really nice and um, it's uncomplicated it just means that your mind's not on this when you get to your peg or you're thinking about the night before or prepping how you might fish it or just thinking it over in your head getting your bait ready you might be you know spending more time looking at previous match results seeing about how it's fishing and coming up with tactics rather than thinking about your kit because you know it's all taken care of well i'm going to apologize i don't think i should do but i'm apologizing that there hasn't been any action from the bank for you but as you can see i've been very very busy and the main reason for that yeah there's probably it's two pronged approach to that one reason is i'm obviously trying to expand my future as regards work as regards my business and as regards keeping my income coming in in nice clever little different ways and ways that if they involve videos and stuff i can still interact with you guys with my on the matrix channel on this channel and on my channels and just on social media as general and if i can really keep busy now it means that when we do or uh, when we are able to get out on the bank in whatever shape or form that might be it means i can go out there knowing that i've still got plenty of footage filmed from here for you that i can keep releasing out but it also means that i can get out straight away and start filming some fresh videos so i'm sorry if that's been a lot of talking we haven't been able to get on the bank as you all know we're all in the same boat and i really sincerely hope that you are all safe and well i can't wait to see and just get back on the bank to see lots of you we're getting fed up of too much it we want to get on the bank and, uh, and start catching some fish don't we so thanks for joining us for this month's video diary if you don't want to miss next month's video diary who knows what the next month's going to hold but whatever happens there will be a video right here for you so if you don't want to miss that hit subscribe this is a fantastic channel to be part of because there's so many different anglers techniques methods all sorts of things covered on here so hit subscribe and um, i really look forward to seeing you all in next month's video so please stay safe please keep in touch and I look forward to seeing you all next month.